Hey Kryptonians, we have a new completed mecha build here right now, the Sky Defender 172 scale model kit from Ainta Industries Ultimate Level Series number 1. In this video, we're going to talk about the features, pros and cons, my final thoughts, and the experience in building this incredible plastic model kit. Let us now dive into the complete review of the Sky Defender. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the features. When you open the package, you will receive a colored manual instruction, which is easy to follow. Build is divided into four phases. The four stages of the build is number one, the inner frame, which is the skeleton structure. Number two, the support mechanism. You will have an option to install the plastic or steel joints. However, when it comes to the steel joints, it is more on an advanced level. So personally, I prefer the steel joints. It adds reinforcement to your build. Number three is the metal structure, which you need to install the photo etch and the screws. And lastly, the complete construction, which you need to connect all the parts. The model kit comes with a display stand that has an option to paint. I applied gold and silver panel line by using the Gundam markers. Beneath the stand has a storage room of beam swords and hands. There are six pairs of fixed hands with different poses. There are also two versions of this model kit. Number one is the deluxe version, which you can only apply the main decals. Second is the luxury version, which you can apply the main decals plus the extra decals that was given. In addition with that, the decals are divided into parts, which is easy to find. What I did was I applied all the main and extra decals on my model kit. It brings life to the Sky Defender, which gives a detail on top of the details. Now let us talk about the jetpack. The design is very close similar to a pterodactyl dinosaur. It is very sturdy when you lift it up. There is no parts falling apart. You can easily see the color separation. There's a lot of open hatches and gimmicks going on here. The floating funnels and rail guns are connected to the wings. There are also green transparent parts that are attached that gives effect on the jetpack. Let us now dive into the pros and cons of the Sky Defender. Now we're going to talk about all the good things about this kit. Number one, parts are perfectly fit to each other. No fitting issue, no need to apply glues. Number two, high quality of plastic model construction. The plastic cannot easily break. Number three, a lot of gimmicks and open hatches. A lot of posing display. There is a storage room beneath the display stand. There's so much detail applied on it that it gives life to the kit. You will have six different Different fixed poses of hands. Lastly, there are steel joints installed inside this Sky Defender that gives strength and sturdiness to the model kit. Now let us move on the cons of this model kit. I only see one thing that threw me off. When I am building this kit, it feels like I am building Master Grade Extreme instead of 172 scale model kit. But it doesn't matter because I'm not being picky on it. If you're still watching, please like, subscribe, and follow my channel. So what are my final thoughts about the Sky Defender? Number one, the plastic model kit has an affordable price for a high quality product that gives so much to offer. Number two, I fell so in love with it that I bought another model kit and provides additional Falcon UAV floating guns and rail guns to my main model kit. Number three, it gives freedom for you to paint, a freedom for you to have a different poses and articulation. Next is the Sky Defender has an intricate design that gives a lot of details on this plastic model kit. The engineering level is so amazing that provides edge to other model kits out there. So that's all for now. Thank you for listening and you have a good day.